Hey everyone, welcome back. Today is a vlog day. We have a lot of exciting things to do. We're going out to lunch in this new restaurant that is kind of like the cool place to go right now. So we're never really those people who are the trend setting early adopters of the restaurant business, but I guess Given that it's Easter and there is no one in the city, we looked out and got a spot. Then on Monday, it is actually a holiday in Italy and we're probably going to do something fun as well. So yeah, now I'm going to get ready because I look like I have been hit by a truck and I'll just pit through it just so that you can see the process without me rambling on about useless topics. And we'll see each other when we're on our way to the restaurant. you guys i am ready you guys are always asking me to show you kind of looks of the day and fashion journal fashion diary outfits daily outfits and stuff like that the reason i don't show them is because the only mirror the only full-length mirror that i have is this one and i hate this mirror so much it came with the apartment it is uh, in our contract so we can't even touch it and it's an antique mirror that i cannot even clean properly and you will see that it has these little kind of specks of antique kind of wear it's like my clothes are dirty when they're not so it really bugs me this apartment is not ideal for creating content because you can see like all of our bags up there my steamer it's just very crammed so that's why i don't show you so tell me in the comments down below if this bugs you or if you don't care and it's just in my mind kind of those psychological self-conscious types of things that no one really cares about but you so we're going out to lunch i am wearing my shirt my oversized shirt with my white jeans which is a look that i actually showed you guys in my 10 essentials that i think you need to have so you can see that i actually wear these pieces in real life I'm wearing a very simple kind of fine gold necklace some earrings these earrings are vintage ones very simple very comfy because the restaurant is not really a chic kind of elegant place it's more of a young hipster fusion cuisine that i don't think requires being too fancy or too dressed up so i'm trying to be cool today for my shoes i am actually not sure which one i would like to wear because i have these sandals that are kind of square toed which you guys know it's something that i'm not a huge fan of but i like how thin and how low the heel is it's also very minimalistic so kind of great for just a very casual simple outfit and then i have these ones which are fabulous in my humble opinion i like that they are kind of slip-ons sort of how do you call these they have a name i can't remember Anyway, they're very comfy because they don't hurt the back of my feet. They have a heel, but they are pretty comfortable, so I'm not sure. I think I might go with this little guy right here. Yeah, I could not be too cool. I had to add a little jacket. There you go. A little look. We're getting a motorcycle to go, which should be fun. And I'll take you guys with me. That was the fabulous, fabulous lunch. I don't know if I mentioned this, the place is called Piccolo Ronin. It is located in Milan's Chinatown. And I thought it was going to be fusion, but it's actually very kind of modern Japanese. A lot of 
classics that we love from Japanese cuisine that are not exactly like sushi or sashimi more like baos and ramen and donburis so it's really delicious but I am in the mood for something sweet and if you watched my recipe video my last recipe video you will remember this little guy here if i told you that i have been basically eating this cake by myself because my husband is on a diet would you believe me so now that we have eaten i will basically edit i will take this free time to edit the video that is going live tomorrow while enjoying a slice or two of cake. If any of you are curious about what I do when I'm editing my videos, I edit my videos on iMovie, so very simple, no big technology here. Then in terms of music i love epidemic sound i think they have a great selection if like me you feel like music sets the tone and conveys a message i think epidemic sound is great if you have a youtube channel and you're just starting out you can use youtube's uh, royalty free music and that is just fine but i know that for me music is super important so i pay the subscription and i'm really happy with it you not only get music but you also get sound effects so if you want to enhance your videos if you want to do a bit of a montage it just adds that little touch something else that i use for my youtube is tubebuddy so for tags for description for looking at competitors not competitors but for looking what other people are doing stuff like that it's great so yeah my little business expenses now that i have edited my video i think i'm going to clean up a little bit actually because yesterday i started cleaning up the kitchen and i only managed to do a third of it because it was that dirty so now i'm going to get to the rest of it Well, I have been here for an hour now, slugging around, doing nothing, watching YouTube, and I thought that I would pay my respects to creators that deserve it, starting with a YouTuber that I have been watching for a little while now. Her name is Charlie, her channel is called Ask Charlie, and she is this very elegant lady who lives in the English countryside, and she talks about cooking and cleaning and gardening. She has horses. She talks about hauls, shopping hauls. She does antiquing. So really wholesome, comfortable, that kind of content that you want to watch when you want to feel good and you don't want any drama or any type of heaviness in your life. She's a really, really nice lady. I, I don't understand how she doesn't have more subscribers because I think she totally deserves it. She's been doing this for three years from what I can tell from her channel. And she even has some cooking classes that she has online. So I would really love to know what you guys think about her channel. Let me know in the comments below. And speaking of wholesome, amazing, light-hearted content, I have also been very obsessed with Rajiv Surendra's little appearances on the HGTV YouTube channel. If you guys don't know Rajiv, he used to be on Mean Girls. He was that kid who was a mathlete and did rap which was quite iconic. Rajiv in real life is very interested in artisanal things, handmade things, in learning and mastering skills that have been 
sort of forgotten or substituted by the automation of things with technology and all that. So he teaches how to marble paper, he teaches how to season a cast iron skillet, how to wash a wool sweater. There was one that he did that was just fantastic. Where is it? Yeah, he made a boxwood garland. I mean, things that maybe seem a little bit like it would be a hassle, but he does it with so much pleasure that it just makes you want to do it as well. And he has a tiny apartment just like I do and he manages to live his life just the way he wants to. You can see that every piece in his apartment has been chosen, everything is intentional, everything has a purpose, be it functional or be it aesthetic and I think it's really really fun. I'll leave the two of them linked down below so that you can enjoy their content as well. Good morning everyone! So yesterday was Easter, I thought I would vlog it but then when it came to it I just really wanted to enjoy that moment with my husband so I ended up not really pulling out the camera. I will insert a few bits and pieces that I managed to film mainly the food, which is, you know, the most important part. Not the most important part, but a very important part. And then in the evening, we didn't do anything very interesting. We took a walk, went to the center of the city, to the Duomo, then came back, watched a new show on Netflix that I'm really not sure if I like it or not. It's called Anatomy of a Scandal. If you guys watched it, let me know what you think. It is kind of like a thriller drama. I don't know, not really convinced. I might watch a third episode just to see how I feel about it. If it starts getting too repetitive, I'll just abandon it and find something else. Today, we have some fun things planned. We are doing a picnic. I am going to fry some chicken and make some sandwiches and we're going to go to the park and enjoy them with a glass of wine. Then we are going to a museum. We're going to the Palazzo Reale, which would be the main museum here in Milan. We're going to the Titian exhibition, which I think it's going to be very beautiful and worthy of showing you guys. And then that's it. Tomorrow, back to normal life, back to work. We are in the park and apparently a lot of people had the same idea as we did. Everybody just sunbathing, enjoying a day off. In the park I have the best picnic treat. A little fried chicken sandwich with mayo and lettuce. I mean, with that bun, can we die? Also have some wine because this is Europe after all. That was just delightful. Now, after a whole bottle of wine, let's look at some paintings. Hopefully, I won't fall asleep in the bathroom. Well, everyone, you can give me the award for worst vlogger on the internet because I completely forgot to record an outro to this vlog. I was having so much fun and just enjoying the days that I guess I didn't want it to end. So in my subconscious, I didn't 
record the final part of this video. So here it is. Thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time, even though looking at the footage, everything seems a little bit disconnected, not gonna lie. I apologize for that, for the lack of storytelling, but hopefully I will be able to do this more often and get better at it. Hopefully you're having a wonderful spring and wishing you a great end to this week and we'll see each other again next time. Bye!